Everybody loves New York. Manhattan, a must stop for some snapshots of the gleaming high rises, shops, entertainment, and the hustle and bustle of the melting pot that's the Big Apple. Along, of course, with all the other tourists drawn to arguably the most famous city in the world. And all that it has to offer. It's an Eiffel. The city that never sleeps, said to be sinking on average one to two millimeters a year. One reason, the weight of its multitude of skyscrapers, putting the city at further risk from rising sea levels. No one looking particularly concerned, certainly not this guy, listening to Jamaican music on a portable speaker. How did you get exposed to dancehall and reggae music? Grew up around Jamaican. What's your favorite dancehall song right now? Right now, it's probably Smooth Wave. Can you give me a line? No, I can't. I don't know about heart. Have you ever been to Jamaica? I've been to Kingston. How was the experience? Oh, I love it. Who's your favorite dancehall artist right now? Probably Kraft and Skank. Frisco Kid in promo mode ahead of grooving in the park. The annual gig at Roy Wilkins Park in Queens, pulling West Indians, mostly Jamaicans, with lots on their minds apart from getting their groove on. Being overseas, what are you hearing about Jamaica these days? Well, you know, you, you hear the increase in crime and all of that. That, that splatters all over. However, that's equally matched with the beauty of Jamaica. There's an increase in tourism. I understand there's a lot of poverty. There's poverty everywhere. The government needs to do better because from one politician to the other to the other, from one government to the other, it's the same old who warmed up. You know, they drive fancy cars, they get new buildings, and you know, people are still suffering and eating mackerel and banana. Why are we taking the people for granted? Why are we fooling and dumbing down the people? Why aren't the people waking up? Well, number one, crime. Two, the increases in the in the government pay and um the lack of resources the latest thing is like um with the prime minister announcing the new monetary system that he's gonna implement also the raises that they got and people are not too pleased would you be interested in moving back home um i was going to but i'm not so sure now the crime kind of scares me but because you see, yesterday they did FDR, so that's not a positive note. You think a change in government would make a difference in Jamaica right now? No, corruption is very widespread because we, we still only have the two parties, so it's going to be either or, and I don't think it will make a difference. What are you hearing most about Jamaica these days? The killing, I'm scared. Jamaican people, they need to understand themselves. We are killing off each other. We are scared to go back home. If you ask all the people right here, I am the number one scared. I'm a scaredy cat. I'm mean, a gangster. I'm mean, a scaredy cat. Bullet, no respect, no meat. We are beg the Spanish town, man. We are beg you know from Spanish town. Calm down, man. We are scared to come home. We are scared to come home. I am born and breed from Spanish town. Red Pan, John's Road, Winter Pen, all over there. Mac Island, Joe Blaine. I'm afraid to come my yard, you dig? I don't calm down. Too much gunman music, we have to calm it down. What you're putting out in the music, children are gravitating to it now. Personally, I do not believe it's a governmental issue. I believe it's a people issue. You as a yeah. mother, you can't wash your son blood up clothes when him go kill people at night time. You yeah, take money from your son where you don't know him get it. These people don't understand that. They committed those crimes in Jamaica, they get away with it. You see here? You can't run them risks there and get away, you heard? You could have gone in a one bulb, they might find you. Singer-songwriter Joy Bailey strictly focused on her career, visits Jamaica regularly, listens to lots of music. Ooh, skeng. Skeng is hard. Skeng, Stark Ashley, of course. Sasko, of course. And of course, Idonia, Cartel. You know, the, the regular culprits. Grooving attracting an older demographic. 
and an obvious venue for Jamaican products and services. Money. And there's always a taste of home. The Groovin crowd hunkered down for acts serving up vintage vibes. <laughs> and sentimental reminders of home. Where in Jamaica are you from? I am from Trelawney, Sherwood content where your Usain Bolt is from. Is this your first time at Grooving in the Park? God, this is my eighth year coming to Grooving in the Park. Can't make it past me. It raised to $100, dollars but I still have to come. Spice jumping ship to do the BET Awards also on Sunday. The last three years, no Grooving. Spice is opting to do the BET Awards instead, something of a blow, with the stage show returning to the park but Groovin getting a solid turnout anyway. She was the one who announced that she was performing at Groovin in the park. And less than 48 hours, we got the news like the rest of the world that she was not performing. We were very disappointed because I think once she was announced, we saw an immediate uh, spike in ticket sales. So it was very good, but unfortunately, she decided not to go. I mean, the world now knows that part of the reason why she decided not to perform here was because of the, her performance at BT, the BT Awards to honor uh, Buster Rhymes tonight. Well, it's Spice coming to take her, I'm going to take in Spice the other day at Amazura, so me all right if she not come, and me all right if she come. Anybody come on if Pandesa tonight, Baby Sham, my darling Baby Sham, when I take in something in December, we take him in again, nothing wrong with that. But guess what, you see, because it's all about the 90s, and at this time I start to dance, you know, so I go have a good time. Are you excited to see Spice? No. I need to see Lady Saw at the family of Marion Hall. And since you're a Lady Saw fan, what do you think about Marion's transition from Lady Saw to Minister? Amazing. That's the reason why I'm here. I'm looking for Spice. I was so disappointed. I don't know what happened. What are you hearing about what's going on back home? Look how Andrew Wallace get big increase. So much million dollars. Look for Jamaica. Me a labor right for my barn. And just forget Andrew Wallace out of power, my gone to PMP. We move from Jamaica and now with the America. You think Donald Trump is going to win? No comment. You think Joe Biden stands a chance? Hell no. Hell no. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a Democrat. I'm a Republican. But I don't want Donald Trump, but I need somebody here then. Biden got to go. What I really do here is the crime and the government and... But Jamaica is Jamaica. So what we are going to do? <laughs> Were you excited at all to see Spice? Well, she's not of my genre, I have to say. But she do have some positive mu music other than the, the... You know, I'm a mature woman, so... I'm used to whining, but not skin out. Without a doubt, my God will work it out. Cops grooving to haul. Fans out front feeling the spirit. Marion's manager insisting on no questions about Lady Saw or Spice. The former dancehall queen raising questions about her direction with recent music, but her performance intended to lay those to rest. We know that we were coming into a place where, you know, it, it, the dark side didn't want us here. So there was a lot of stuff going on, but we, he told me to be still. And the Lord spoke to him, and then the Lord showed me something in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. So I knew it was well. 
You got baptized in 2015. Did you ever think that you would return to the stage? No, because the stage was bringing me a lot of pain, a lot of... It was a lot going on. It was just too much for me, and that's why I left. Uh, I was not loving it anymore, and when the younger ones come through, you know, they, they'll, do it, they'll go to the, the pit to really get you out. So I didn't want to have any contentions. I get tired of contentions because that was not what it was about. But after I, I see where it was taking me, I had was to leave. So I didn't feel like returning. No, I won't. I never will go back. But we were DJ still. See if that man can true nothing. They might try hard to get new clients, tell them to be and now walk so they start to rebel. At first I thought I should stay in the church. I should be cover up from head to toe every day, you know, but when the Lord spoke to me in London one time and told me that you have given me your heart and that is enough. I couldn't throw my offering that night and I said to the Lord, I feel so bad I can't throw any offerings tonight. And he said, you have given me your heart and that is enough. And that night he used me mightily in that church. I was laying hands, people were falling over, just getting deliverance. So I knew it's my heart, you know, so. My thing is to just please the Lord. That's all I want. Me no come here so be idols. Me no come here so be dance and title. Me come here so be preach on the gospel. So tell a preach on the people no fight up. Being back, how does that? How how is that? The thing is, the love never left. You know, when you are true and people know that, they know the true you. No matter what the devil set up or say or put out there. He said, let your light so shine before men so they may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So once that light start illuminating like, you know, it's okay, it's all good. God got me. Marion Hall partnering with Kuya on some t-shirts and just happy to have turned a corner. I went through depression and anxiety attack and fear, and now I'm free. Grooving then moving into a 90s segment with Frisco Shaman Wayne Wanda, backed by a mostly female band. <laughs> I came and saw Wayne one of them been doing it with both of them and Dave Kelly. And they taught me how to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would just keep following the lead and keep trying to grow. So when we come here and you see that set that we did, because we gave you songs from the 90s. Classics within the 2000s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No letting go together, stories, the slow yeah. motions. You know what I mean? So it's not just 90s. Not just 90s. It's a gyride experience. Yeah, it's a gyride. Take it away. Yeah. So we're like, when you drive around the States, yeah. you always hear the 90s on the major radio station. I don't hear the new music as yet. So they still have work to do, you know what yeah. I mean? It's one genre, you know? And I will look at them just the same. Them way. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Groovin's penultimate act a white gloved Taurus Riley, who last hit the Roy Wilkins stage along with his late dad, Jimmy Riley. Just for the man and for know, so him start me at the music. And him used to bring me on stage, I know me could have bring him on stage. Yeah, that was the highlight for me. Bless up Jamaica ER. You don't know who we are. Sing a sing a year singer representing to the world. And we're grooving in the park. Sure. Oh gosh, man. Rasta.